Hello and welcome to um, the Incitel at Cala Mandia. Don't know if that's how you say it, don't speak Spanish. But this, this is where we are, it's the Incitel. It's classed as the Porto Cristo Incitel. Um, but yeah, it's in Cala Mandia. Um, we have been here for nine days now. We go home tomorrow. And I just thought I'd show you a quick tour. I know this is always the sort of thing I look at rather than TripAdvisor. Um, just so I can see what rooms are like. That's mostly it. You like to know what sort of space you're gonna get. We are a family of four. We have, it's me, my husband, my four-year-old and my little boy, he's one. Um, and we're sharing a suite. Um, it's not the biggest living space, but we've made do. Um, as you'll see in the tour, it's quite messy. It's so hard, like being confined to such a small place whenever there's four of you including two quite high maintenance, messy children who need a lot of things and a lot of snacks. But yeah, it's fine. My um, little boy's actually asleep in the other side of the room. Um, so I won't be able to show you that, but I'll show you it after. But this, where I'm gonna show you now is actually the bedroom where um, my husband and I have been sleeping. And then the kids have been on the other side. Stella's been on the pull out sofa and my little boy's been on a travel cot. So it hasn't worked out too badly for us. So I'll turn the camera around and let you see. So yeah, this is it. Um, this is the room. That's our table. Two um, single beds pushed up together. Messy, 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 messy. Oh my goodness, so messy. It looks even worse through the camera. And that's the sliding door where my son is sleeping through there. TV, mess, and I'll show you our little balcony as well. We're in room 1155. With a nice cool view. That's the buffet restaurant over there. More apartments. And a little table that actually has four seats, but the other ones in we've been using it inside. And there's me. Hello. But yeah, that's it. So yes, I'll show you the rest whenever my son wakes up just a little bit later. And this is the other section then of um the room. And this is the bit where um my two children have been sleeping. So my eldest is four, where you can see all the mess. She's been sleeping there. We've actually been using those um, cushions here as like sort of a bumper so she doesn't fall out because she's only four. So it's been working very well for us, just putting one on top of each other and then pushing this brown thing up against it so that she doesn't fall out. Um, yeah, and then my baby's been sleeping there. There's a wardrobe with plenty of space and some shelves. And there's also a TV in here too. I guess you're meant to use this as your lounge if you're um, if you're here, but we haven't ever used it as a lounge, just with the kids sleeping there. We've been using the bedroom as a lounge and just sitting there whenever they go to bed at night, um, having a little drink. And then in here, like I said, excuse me for all the mess, as we're packing to go home. This is the bathroom. It's quite a modern, nice bathroom. Um, no bath, unfortunately, just um, a shower, but that's adequate for us anyway. So um, it's quite a nice shower. It's one of those rain shower ones. And a little magnifying mirror. There's me, hello. And that's it, hair dryer on the wall. Yeah, and then in through there where that sliding door is, that's back to the master bedroom again. And that's it. So I hope that's been a help. And like I said, again, this is room 1155. Well, there's a window there just to brighten it up a bit. We have the curtains closed. And that just goes on to end the corridor with other rooms, which is outside. And that's it. Bye.